is up, everybody? We are here at the foot of Mount Gillen, which is that big mountain behind me. And in about 45 minutes, I should be up the top. So this is a little, quite a, well, it's not little, but it's reasonably sized hike here in Alice Springs that people will come and do. Um, fitness minded people usually. Uh, most mornings, most evenings, there'll be quite a few cars parked here. In fact, I'm quite surprised that there's not. I'm probably a little bit late to be fair, but uh, I'm going to make the most of the cloud cover and it's about, what's the time, 6.45, I think sunset's about 7.30 so we're going to try and get up there for sunset and if we do there's going to be some amazing views and it's going to be great so I've got my drink. Peace. Done. Let's go. Getting there. Now, <clears throat> as beautiful as this is, as lovely as this walk is, I've got to be honest with you guys, I don't particularly want to do it because, <laughs> you know, I've been putting off cardio, putting off cardio, putting off cardio for weeks actually, and um, tomorrow marks 10 weeks out. So, <clears throat> and to be honest with you, the last couple of days, um, I've probably had around 4,000 calories. Um, I blame my sister for that, <laughs> offering me fucking takeaways, offering to pick up takeaways and bring it around. Fuck you. <laughs> no. no, it was nice, I enjoyed it, but obviously this morning I weighed in and uh, if, if, if this morning was my way and I would have put on weight in the last week so that is uh, that's not ideal and that really fucks me off but I mean clearly that's a little bit of weight, uh, water weight and uh, glycogen etc so I do actually feel fuller after the last two days um, you know veins coming out of my arms without a pump um, I see my triceps actually coming out from my arm so I mean they're obviously, they're clearly more full, and I mean the fullness factor is is real. It's true. And when you when you're dieting down, um, you're going to feel flat, and you are flat, but your stomach's probably flat too. So you know it's catch twenty two. You've got to go through it. You have to go through periods of feeling flat to cut the weight. I mean you really do. If I'm always going to be trying to be full with glycogen, it's, it's too much. I can't lose fat. So. Um, yeah, so basically, I'm doing this as my first, fuck that looks nice, I'm doing this as my first cardio session to really smash out a good, you know, at least 500 calories, and hopefully tomorrow morning when I weigh in, third weigh in, um, I'll be, I'll have a loss, I'll have a new low, so first weigh in was 92.5, second weigh in, which was a week ago, was 90.5, and uh, this week, I thought I was going to be under 90. I can't see that happening, so we'll see what we'll see what we get. But uh, in the meantime, fuck, this is about to fall off. I just gotta gotta get up the top of here. Look at that. It's pretty sweet, eh? Fuck, these flies are annoying. Whoa. Fucking hate this part. Look behind me. 
How cool does that look? I don't know if you can see it. But it's obviously raining out there. And it's raining there too. Out of it. I gotta, I gotta stop fucking talking to the camera, man. I'm just trying to put this off. First cardio session. Fuck. Let's hope it comes easier after this. Fuck, it's hot. Holy shit. And there goes the last of the sun, I believe. And we've still got this far to go. But once the sun goes, the light will stay for a half an hour more. So it's much quicker on the way down than it is on the way out. Fuck. Can't stop now, though. God. All right. Fuck. So, nearly at the top. This is the fun part. And, you know, I was just about to say something like, the only reason you should be looking back is to see how far you've come. You've come. Right? And it's amazing. I was walking, you know, you can apply this to climbing a mountain. I was walking for five minutes, turn around, and it's like, wow, you know? Um, well, obviously, I've been walking for about half an hour now, but from five minutes ago to now, you turn around and it's like, wow, that's amazing, you know? It might seem little at the time, but turn around and see how far you've come, and it's huge. And actually, come to think of it, I remember, fuck, sorry, I'm a mess at the moment. Cardio will do that to you. Um, I do remember climbing up here about six months ago when I was prepping for my other show, for my first show. And I was probably around about 10 weeks out then as well. And um, I think I said something similar about not turning back. In fact, I should be able to find it. So let's see what I was saying uh, six months ago in pretty much this exact spot. In three, two, one. Right, I've got to scale the rest of this shit. Thirteen minutes in. I reckon I can do it in another fifteen. Let's go. Oh, the amount of times I've said, fuck this, I'm going back down. And then I turn around and see how far I've already gone. And I realize, fuck that. I've put in way too much effort. I'm gonna make it to the top. And that's how I feel about life at the moment. And especially about this comp prep, cutting down, getting shredded. Every day, I think, at at least one point, fuck this. I've done enough already. Let's turn back. But then, I turn around and I look at my Instagram, at my past photos, and I think, fuck, you know what? I've achieved a lot. May not seem like it at the time when I have these thoughts, but fuck. I'm on my way to the top. Today, not only metaphorically, but fuck. I am on my way to the top. I'll just get to this top first. Bruh, bruh, don't look down, imagine if I dropped it, and we're not finished yet, so it looks like, shit, I don't know, I might have half an hour left of daylight, 
So just up there is the official top of Mount Gillen. It's a little signpost. And uh, I'm gonna make it there because I'm not into doing things half-hearted. If I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. And I know this is just something such as, as small as hiking up a mountain. But it's these little things that carry over into the rest of your life. So yeah, some some wise thoughts there. So we'll be up there in about five minutes and I will show you the view from the top. Alright, nearly there. here in way too long eh? way too long it's right in my backyard for fuck's sake and actually just on the other side of the sign you can see the whole township of Alice Springs the center of Australia drop this <laughs> so there we have it guys oh fuck good sesh good cardio sesh in the books it's a good measure guys why don't we have a top of the mountain flex off with myself it's 10 weeks out let's just sit on the ledge here now if this doesn't relax you and bring you back down to earth sitting up here all alone I don't know what will I really don't know what will and I feel for I feel for people who are stuck in cities man can't get out to places like this. You know, I, I, I tell myself I love the city, but honestly, I don't. I don't. I've found a love for simplistic places to live. You don't need much. You don't need much, guys. All you need, a couple of friends or a couple of family members around you because without that it's very very hard very lonely but if you've got that fuck you can live anywhere guys you can live anywhere and who knows you might end up here in Alice Springs with me <laughs> oh shit right fuck feeling very inspired right now very inspired but I need to finish this video and get down the hill before it gets dark otherwise it's going to be dangerous as fuck so I will see you guys in the next one Thanks for joining me. I've had a great time. First cardio session in the books. It's 10 weeks out as of tomorrow. We getting it. Peace out. <laughs>